So am I hearing that Mark Faber's prediction for 2015 is that you can't make a prediction? Yes, that's actually the prediction of Barry Ritholtz, who <laughs> works for you. So it's not even my view. I'm saying we will have a lot of volatility and a lot of surprises. That's why I keep on recommending diversification. And uh, I'd just like to mention that hedge funds in 2014 and active money managers had a bad year. Uh, almost 90% of active managers underperformed the S&P 500. And hedge funds, by and large, the average is up about 1%. But the portfolio that has actually done well is the all-weather portfolio of Bridgewater Associates because they diversified. They were also in bonds and they were long stocks. Mark, uh, one of this is Brendan. Uh, one of one of the words that you rely on a lot in your uh, in your reports is is the word discipline. You use that Warren Buffett quote. It's it, you don't have to be smart; <laughs> you have to be disciplined. You talk about yeah. that swing in the price of oil that nobody predicted. Um, how did your discipline do, or did you lose your religion and make some trades when that started to happen? <laughs> no, actually, I'm a believer in trading as little as possible. So my portfolio turnover annually is very, very low. I'm a very bad client for banks and brokers because there are no commissions that are coming from me. So I'm diversified. I still think that the sentiment about stocks in the US is much too bullish, much too optimistic. And the sentiment about US bonds say, the 10 years U.S. Treasury note is now yielding a slightly more than 2.2%. Now, let me ask you this. What would you rather own, given that all the forecasters are so optimistic about the U.S. dollar? So what would you rather own, U.S. government bonds yielding 2.2% or, say, European French bonds yielding 0.88%, German bonds 0.56%, or on Friday, the Swiss 10-year bonds went to 0.22%. So what would you rather own? I think the Treasury market is not such a bad alternative, given my view that the global economy mm. is actually slowing down, and given the low yields that you have in Japan and in, uh, in Europe.